It's this week's recommended Blender downloads. Toasty! Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. It's came to that time of the week again where I scour the internet looking for the best downloads for your downloading pleasure. As always, please support third party developers and artists. Now just as a quick apology, I can only hear out the left ear so kind of hear myself talk. Oh, I feel sorry for you, I do. I feel sorry for you. Just as a quick reminder, if you go to blenderroyale.com, you can check out the recommended downloads, that'll give you a list of everything. Let's quickly go into it. First and foremost, we have the Sci-Fi Tile Set Pack 1, 16 tiles, available for free. I'll leave all the links in the description down below. And from the same artist, you have a bunch of AC units, and these are free as well, so thank you very much. Moving it over, we have the Kazan Tutorials Geometry Nodes Easy Animations in Blender. Very nice. A great resource for geometry nodes as well. Plenty of tutorials, some commercial, some free. Next one up is the Blender Freebie number 11 Flow Lines. Very nice. And again, plenty of good resources here as well. And one of our favourites, Chuck CG, is a procedural terrain shader for Blender, and it is available for free. Wow! And from the master of the geo nodes himself, it's Erendale, and it's the Wicker Procedural Wicker Generator for Blender. Nice one, thanks very much, Ern. So moving it over to Blender Artist, this is the Blender Screenwriter. Now, I've never used this to be honest, but I have heard very positive things. Essentially what it does is it takes your script and it puts it into the VSE, and it kind of keeps everything nice and tidy, and you can basically animate to your script. From what I've heard, it's pretty damn good. The next one up is a calendar widget that lets the user pick a date and time. Don't know if you'll need this, but hey, it's there if you need it. So I have another very quick script here for you, and it's select animated nodes, always show keyframes in the dope sheet. Blender has got this annoying thing when you have to select nodes with animated properties in order to show keyframes. This kind of solves this. So the next one up is the logo tracer. Now I have covered this one before, but it's pretty good to be honest, and I think it needs a little bit more recognition. It basically lets you change a logo into a mesh geometry. It's really good to be honest. And moving it over to GitHub, I did cover this originally when it came out. It's a stop motion OBJ, it's a tool that lets you import sequences of a mesh file. So it basically lets you import a sequence of OBJ, which is pretty handy to be honest, especially if you use things like real flow stuff like this. Next one up is the Blender Scattering. This is a Blender file with two geometry node trees that are useful for grass scattering. So it's kind of a template to be honest. And just on that subject, you also have G Scatter, it is in beta, artist friendly scattering for everyone. You get a couple of free assets as well. It looks pretty good. And my commercial add-on of the week is RAN Tools and P-Cutter. I did give it a very quick review. If you use the code STEVEN10, you get 10% off. It's the best I could do. There is an affiliation link down below. And just quickly wrapping things up with our Sketchfab download of the week. There is a great selection here, but I like the Armour Cyber. And finishing up with the PBR material is the Wood Table 001. And just on Polyhaven, HDRI, you have the Hilly Terrain. Do me a favour guys, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me and government, you know what to do. Take care.